first graders. Today for our math lesson, you will want to turn to page 197 in your math journal. On this page, you will see a vending machine of different snacks. And what we're going to do is purchase some items, or we'll pretend actually that we're purchasing some items from our vending machine and spending money on the items. So the first two items I'd like to buy are the mints, and they cost 35 cents. And I'd also like to get the string cheese, which costs 25 cents. So I need to see how much money I need for both of those items. So what I did is up here on my refrigerator, I put some base tens and ones to help me figure this out. So my mints, remember we said were 35 cents. So I have 10, 20, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. And my cheese sticks are 25 cents. So I have 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So I need to combine them to see how much it costs for both of those items. So what I'm going to do is take my tens, I'll put my tens together over here. And I'm going to take my ones and bring them over as well. And I'm going to see if I can do an exchange because you'll remember that if you have 10 ones, you can exchange that for a base 10 block. So I'll line it up with this one to measure and I'll also count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ones. So I can exchange that for a base ten block. So now I can see how much it costs to get both the mints and the cheese sticks. So I'll, I'll need 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 cents total to get both the mints and the cheese sticks. So let's try another one. Let's purchase this time the peanuts for 55 cents and the crackers for 30 cents. So I'm gonna do this one two different ways. The first way is I'll use my hundreds chart. And what I'll do is I will find, I like to find my, put my bigger number first and find that on the numbers chart when I add it to the other number. Because then I don't have to go as many um, hops. So if I start at 55, because the peanuts cost 55, and I want to add that to my crackers that cost 30, I can use my hundreds chart. And I could sit here and count 30 and say one, two, three, all the way to 30. But I do remember that every time I add 10, I go down one row. So if I'm at 55 and I want to add 30, I need to add three tens. So I'm gonna be here, I'm here at 55 and I'm gonna count 10, 20, 30 more. So then I land at 85. So 55 plus 30 equals 85. And I can double check that with my tens and, and ones cubes, because here's 55, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. And here's 30, 10, 20, 30. I can combine them together to make sure I did that right. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. So there I have it. I found the same answer with both strategies. Now, for my next one, I'm going to purchase the granola bar which costs 40 cents and the raisins 
which cost 45 cents. And this time I use real money to show how um, I can do this. So I remember that dimes are worth 10. So I can think of those as a base 10 block too. So I can say 10, 20, 30, 40. And over here, I, I'm gonna double check that I did this right, that I have 45 cents. I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Now I could, even though I have the money in front of me, I could think to myself, I know that 40 plus 40 equals 80. I know that. And that's using just the dimes. Because here's 40 and here's 40. You add that together and you get 80. But then I also want to add my ones to that. So if I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, now I need to add my ones. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. So I got 85 again. So when you add them all together, you get 85 cents. So that's my answer there. Now with my next one, I'm going to use my hundreds chart again to help me. And this time, I will pretend that I'm buying three items from the store. So I'm going to buy the cheese stick for 25 cents, the granola bar for 40 cents, and the crackers for 30 cents. Now, one thing I can do, I could use base 10 blocks to figure this all out, but a faster way might be if I add these two numbers first, because they both have zero in the ones place, so it's pretty easy to add them. So I can think to myself, 40 plus 30. And I know that four plus three is seven, and then, I know that zero plus zero is zero. So that helps me to think of it that way. Um, in second grade, you'll learn to do it sometimes like this, where you line it up and you add your ones and you get zero and then you add four plus three and you get seven for 70 cents. So you, you'll learn that in second grade, but I can also think of it as 40 here plus 30 more, 10, 20, 30, brings me to 70. So I'm at 70. Now I want to add 25 more, because I still need to add my cheese sticks. So if I'm at 70 and I want to add 25 more, I can use my hundreds grid and say 10, 20, that gives me the 20 cents. But I still need to have five more. So then I can, if I'm here at 90, then I can take five more hops for the five ones here. And I go one, two, three, four, five. So I get 95. So for all of these items together, 25 plus 40 plus 30 equals 95 cents. So if I want all those three items, I'm gonna need 95 cents to pay for it. Now our last one I'd like to do with you is I've looked at the vending um, machine before and I saw that the rice cakes cost 50 cents. Now I'm going to pretend that I have 80 cents in my pocket. So what else can I buy? If I spend 50 cents on the rice cakes, what else can I buy to get me to 80? So if I'm here at 50, I can spend 50 on my rice cakes, but I still have some more money because I have 80 cents total in my pocket. That means I can still spend 10, 20, 30 more cents. 
so I can still spend 30 more cents. So what can I buy in the vending machine for 30 cents? Let's see. Oh, there it is. The crackers cost 30 cents, so I can buy those. Perfect. Okay, so that is all for today's math lesson, and I will see you guys again soon. Goodbye.